from the racetrack here in uh, Ennis. We get to play race cars today, and I am really, really, really excited about it. Something important, though, today, if that'll stay, is uh, we haven't raced in three months, so we've got to be real careful about what we do um, in terms of being ready and getting ready because we haven't done it in a while, and we can't have any mistakes. So. Um, we're all real focused on just making sure everything is right and perfect today because uh, we don't need any screw-ups. And uh, so I'm going through and putting the fresh air bottle back on the car um, from when we had it off this week to measure it to make a new one for the new car. Uh, I'm going to get that put back on and then we're going to pull the heads off and the goal is to start the car by like noon is the plan. All right, the next important thing that we have going on is I gotta put some new stickers on both funny cars. So we're gonna get these on the wing for Mr. Cameron with Bell and Electric. And uh, these are gonna look really good. I'm excited. And now, Mr. Blaine. So we got this here fancy dance throttle cable. We're gonna route it through here and through there. And then we're gonna mount it here and then figure out if it has to mount it there. And yeah. Cool. How's it going down here, Austin? going. I haven't died yet, so that's, that's um, it's a plus for the day. What uh, what are you most focused on working on right now? Make sure none of you guys do anything dumb. You guys have been away from it for so long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least you and I have gotten to mess around with some of it recently. So that'll help a little bit. Yeah, but it's not, it's just not, not the, the same. same. Yeah. It is, it's so weird, like, um, how much, like, just being here shifts your mood, like, it's, like, so much happier, so much, uh, better feeling just being here, right? Yeah, I've only wanted to hit you, like, once today. Compared to this time I'm at the shop, it would have been, like, six times. At minimum. At minimum, yeah. Why'd you, uh, why'd you want to hit me today? I took oh, care of the strange box. You did something earlier, right? Uh. Same old, same old. Mm. All right. Well, what are you working on, Gravy? Uh, I was trying to get the tires to go the right size, and it they're they're having trouble. But we're working on it. They're one's like off a little bit, like quarter inch. So yeah. Now I don't know. I don't know. I'm just here. I you just here. work here. I just work. What are you working on, Dad? I'm gonna go pick head gaskets for you guys so we can get this car put together. Cool. What are you working on? What's the fab team working on? They're welding that uh, bracket on for the fire bottle. Alright, so we are about halfway through putting the motor together. Uh, me and Austin, since obviously haven't done it in a few months, I kind of just told everybody to leave us alone and let us do our thing. Don't so listen to this guy. Don't listen to him. Oh, come on now. I'm a very reputable source of... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, we're waiting on Tyler to finish up so that we can put the bell housing in, so that we can put the intake and the blower on, and then uh, we're hoping to start it here pretty quick, um, just to make sure everything's good and ready and for everybody's own peace of mind. About 14 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Literally, the goal was 12 o'clock. Something's not adding up here. We're close though. That's messed up yet. What are you checking there, Tyler? Checking the air gap. I think, if I remember correctly, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it's been a long time. I just had to watch a quick uh, Chris Fix video to see if I'm doing this right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Chris Fix, he's the guy. Hey guys! Hey guys! Chris Welcome Fix back. here. Today we're going to show you how to we're set the air, air gap, gap on your Nitro, nitro Funny Car. car. In four easy steps. Yeah, step one, disassemble the whole car. <laughs> step two, fill the full chassis. Step three, install top fuel nitro engine and make lower. Step four, blow up. Make it go. Oh, oh. No, no. Step four, blow up your transmission. Step five, put a six this clutch with multiple floaters in your rig. That seems like a reasonable course of action. I'm not even going to lie. All right, step 89. Do whatever Tyler's doing. 
So a sight you don't normally see in good scenarios is a uh, upside down funny car body. Explain, explain what we're doing with the uh, upside down funny car body because usually you don't have that unless someone went real wrong, huh? Uh, so we've been patching some of these spots where it's pretty weak. I can see it's pretty strong. And uh, we're nice cleaning up the tree because it's got some rust on it. Obviously it's not perfect yet. It needs a little bit more work, but uh, our run's coming up here three before too long. So. Cool. So both of our bodies have had a uh, been through a lot, basically. So um, we're having Tom go through and fix some of the weak spots in the carbon fiber and just making sure she's all good and safe to run, most importantly. All right, about time to uh, start this thing. About time to make some noise, and I am really excited. First time we smell nitro in God knows how long. On, Mr. Blaine? Uh, we are welding a new tab for the fire bottle uh, release deal. As you can see right here, we made a little tab. It was a little thin that we didn't like, and we don't want this to break off, obviously. So we're going to tack this unit on and uh, we set. Mr. Master Welder here, huh? We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Have you welded chromoly before? I have, yep. On my chassis, indeed. Ah. So. For everybody who doesn't actually know, Mr. Blaine has a way cooler YouTube channel than what we do. With Blaine's Therapy, there's a link up there, up somewhere. It's, it's over. Somewhere. Over there. For you to check it's it out, because he does really cool stuff. They do a lot of streetcar stuff with drag and drive events and racing, and they've got a super, super cool 55 Chevy wagon that uh, they get to play with. So, And then they get to come hang out with us and do fab work. I'm sure he's regretting showing up already. If we win tomorrow, I won't be. That's fair. <laughs> I plan on winning two weekends in a row. That would be sweet. Tighten that up. And then we'll see if we can clamp it in place. We're headed up to the lanes for our run tonight. Got a banger sun set back there. A really sexy looking race car. And uh, we get to roll down the center of the track since uh, all other avenues to the uh, starting line are either not possible with this uh, turn with the car or uh, blocked by people in concerts. So we're on our way up. Well, I think we're going backwards. Some Something about this, uh, isn't quite right, but I can't really put my finger on it. First time a, tr a truck's been on the racetrack, though. Yeah, this is this is weird, son. Yeah. Way more people in the stands this year than there was last year, which is real cool to see. That's way cool. Last year the stands were practically empty. There was nobody up there. They just played it on the screen for the concerts, but looks like people are gaining more interest in it this year, which is way, way cool. Hopefully somebody gets a cool video that I can use. So what's kind of cool that they're doing for the crowd is uh, 
we aren't the only thing running. Uh, they're kind of doing like almost a progression to us, uh, to the real cool stuff. So they've got um, some basically factory stock cars that are gonna run, got a couple of pro mods, and then we've got us, and we are running a fuel altered of uh, Kevin Kinsley's. So this is gonna be super cool. Um, it's also super cool to see how much of a crowd there is. Last year, the stands were pretty empty, and this year they're really trying to push people over to the crowd, uh, over to the stands, so it's pretty cool. All right, I'm walking out there. It's uh, it's time to go racing, bud. This is cool. And the stands look like a regular Friday night qualifying, which is the coolest thing in the world. So we're having a great night. It's time to go racing, and I am so grateful. I could read the side of that guy. Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> that was cool. 382, and he was shut off like 300 feet into it. And we could see the side of the body. I could read Contra Supply on the side. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> boogity, 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 two in a row Texas Invitational uh, champions, which is going to be a ton of fun. I'm super excited about that. And then also those El Bandito Mustangs that we're running, they're gonna let me and dad and Austin and Reed and everybody go rip around with them. So that's gonna be a ton of fun too. So tomorrow's gonna be a big day and Heather. So tomorrow's gonna be a big day. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Never give up.